Nerves are the most important structures of the peripheral nervous system and have the task of transmitting nerve impulses to or from the central nervous system made up of the brain and spinal cord. There are three main types of nerves. The motor ones, which control the muscles and are responsible for voluntary movements. The sensory ones transmit sensations such as pain, temperature, and vibrations. And finally, the vegetative or autonomic ones, which have the task of controlling the involuntary functions of the body, such as heartbeat, blood pressure, and digestive functions. When one or more nerves become damaged and no longer function properly, we speak of peripheral neuropathy a pathology of the peripheral nervous system that affects approximately 8% of the world's population and in particular people over the age of 50. To keep the nerves healthy, strengthen them, and in some cases even repair damaged ones, it is important to take a sufficient quantity of certain vitamins and antioxidant substances. But what are they? Let's go see them. However, it is good to remember that the degree of recovery depends on the underlying cause of the peripheral neuropathy and the extent of the damage. For this reason, the treatment prescribed by a specialist could cure the neuropathy, as well as slow its progression or simply alleviate it. Vitamin B1 Vitamin B1, also called thiamine, is a water-soluble vitamin belonging to the B vitamins. Among the many functions it carries out, we find that of guaranteeing the correct functioning of the nervous system as it intervenes in neuronal processes, both at a central and peripheral level, ensuring the correct transmission of nervous impulses between neurons. Thiamine consequently contributes to the health of the brain and nerves in general, playing a very important role especially during the child's growth period. Vitamin B1, together with two other vitamins that we will see later, have been included in the group of neurotropic vitamins because as the name itself suggests, they play an essential role for the correct functioning of the central and peripheral nervous system. Vitamin B1 cannot be stored by the body, so it is necessary to introduce it daily through food. Among the foods that contain the most, we find legumes, brewer's yeast, rice and wholemeal bread, but also eggs, pork, potatoes, and enriched breakfast cereals. However, vitamin B1, like other thermalable vitamins, is sensitive to high temperatures and therefore heat, so it tends to degrade when the foods that contain it are cooked. Vitamin B6 Vitamin B6, also known as paradoxine, is another of the water-soluble vitamins that belong to the B vitamins, and among the functions it carries out, we find that of participating in the formation of hemoglobin and the synthesis of serotonin, as well as intervening in the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Pyridoxine is also important for the normal development of the brain, as it stimulates its functions and keeps the entire nervous system healthy. Like vitamin B1, vitamin B6 also belongs to the group of neurotropic vitamins, as it plays a key role in the synthesis of some neurotransmitters, the chemicals that make it possible to transmit nerve impulses from one neuron to another. Vitamin B6 also intervenes in the formation of myelin, a substance that envelops and protects the nerve fibers, like a sort of sheath, allowing the correct conduction of the nervous impulse and amplifying it the transmission speed. Both a vitamin B6 deficiency and long-term intake of high doses of this vitamin have been described as risk factors for the development of peripheral neuropathy, the symptoms of which depend on the extent of damage and the type of nerve involved, motor, sensitive, or vegetative. Vitamin B6 is found in numerous foods, particularly meat, especially chicken, beef, and pork, in fish, such as tuna and salmon, 
but also in eggs and dairy products. Vitamin B6 can also be found in foods of plant origin, such as whole grains, legumes and nuts, as well as in vegetables, including potatoes, green beans, and cauliflower, and in fruit, such as bananas and avocado. Foods of animal origin contain a form of vitamin B6 that is more easily assimilated by the body, and cooking in water of foods containing it reduces their content, as does their exposure to air, sunlight, or low temperatures. The ideal is therefore to steam these foods or reuse the cooking water for the preparation of broths and sauces, or even better to consume them fresh, prepared, and eaten immediately. Vitamin B12 Vitamin B12 is also called cobalamin and is also part of the group of water-soluble vitamins, so it must be introduced daily through diet. It participates in the synthesis of red blood cells by the bone marrow, intervenes in the synthesis of DNA and RNA, and is particularly important for the normal functioning of the nervous system, thanks to its role in the production of myelin. Without a sufficient quantity of this substance, nerves are more subject to damage, particularly peripheral ones, such as hands and feet, causing the onset of annoying tingling, numbness, and pain. According to the result of some studies, vitamin B12 is one of the proposed treatments for neuropathic pain, as it is believed that it can relieve pain through a number of mechanisms, including promoting myelination, increasing nerve regeneration, and decreased activity of ectopic nerves. That is those nerves that transmit anomalous or excessive signals, often without an adequate stimulus. Together with vitamin B1 and vitamin B6, is part of the group of neurotropic vitamins, essential in protecting the nerves, promoting nerve transmission, the development and repair of nervous tissues, as well as playing a role as modulators for the treatment of inflammation and pain. Vitamin B12, unlike most other vitamins, is present only in products of animal origin, and we find it above all in meat, especially red meat, and in particular in the liver and kidneys, as well as in fish and shellfish, but also in eggs, milk, and its derivatives. In conclusion, neurotropic vitamins are all important for the correct functioning of the central and peripheral nervous system, and therefore for the maintenance of various neurological functions. Their importance is also highlighted by the fact that many neurological diseases are associated with a deficiency of one or more of these vitamins and that their symptoms tend to improve when they are introduced in sufficient quantities into the body.